I've heard many people say that there's a contradiction in the Bible where it says that both predetermination of the future is true and free will is also true. And I have a simple explanation for how scientific evidence can show that predetermination is true and also free will is true scientifically. Now, what comes into this is the quantum mechanical nature of the smallest parts of our universe. If you get, like, to the absolute smallest point that you can get to, let's say, like, an electron on an atom, I know that's not the actual smallest one, there's Higgs bosons and etc, etc, but we're not going to get into that right now. But if you get into, like, an electron, say, it is orbiting around the atom, but until you actually measure either where it is or how fast it is moving, it is in every single point all the way around the atom itself. It's all over the place all at once, and it's in none of those places, until it is specifically measured at a certain point right there. And then, if you measure for it at a certain point, it will be at that point. If you measure for it at a certain rotation, it will be at that rotation. The observation determines the outcome to a large degree with quantum mechanics. However, as we can see with things like, uh, what's it called? If I was to just, you know, if I was to flick the light switch or something, there's very deterministic acts that are going to happen. I flick the switch up, and then that is going to break a circuit, and that is going to stop power from flowing to the lights up there, and then those lights are going to turn off because there's not going to be any power in them. It basically comes down to, on a macro scale, things are incredibly deterministic. Certain things are going to happen. For example, a volcano is going to erupt because the pressure is building up. That's deterministic from the you know, from the past, these things will build together, and then they will create a certain predetermined future. If you lower the, uh, what's it called? If you increase the amount of poverty in an area, the crime rates are going to go up. If you increase the prosperity in an area, then the crime rates are going to go down. It's a simple fact of life. Now, which individual people are going to commit those crimes is not, is non-deterministic. Herein is the difference. On the micro scale, free will has its reign. There are always going to be, because there is law, transgressors of that law. There are always going to be sinners if there is sin. This is a simple fact. However, who those individuals are going to be is not determined. Because the people who are going to do that have to choose it. It doesn't matter where you are in any part of the in any part of the spectrum of life you choose your own individual actions now you can choose to be a cog in the machine of the world you can choose to do whatever there to to do whatever you feel like and literally speaking to hell with all the consequences in which case you will go to hell with all the consequences but or you can choose to restrain yourself from doing things. Yes, sure. Say a person becomes really, really poor, like they get robbed and they lose all, and they lose like most of their money. It is up to that person to either try to gain back money legitimately to put themselves on a on an even footing, or if they choose not to, they go out. They could go out and they could steal, or they could sell drugs or something like, you know, they could do something that is criminal. They might kill someone and take some something that's like, take some of his money or something, or they might mug somebody for their wallet and all this stuff. But the point of this is they had to choose between all of those. They could just as easily have chosen the legitimate path in order to get their money back rather than a, a criminal path. Choice exists on the micro level. But on the macro scale, things will come to pass that have been predetermined that way. There are macro trends, and there are micro individuals. Uh, it's, like, it's like with statistics would be another very good example. There are certain macro trends that you will see on statistics, but if you apply a macro trend statistic to an individual, then you're just being incredibly stupid. 
because trends do not determine what an individual will do. Individuals are different. They are individual. It is in the name. They are, they are one individual specific data point that can be anywhere on the spectrum. That is why free will and predetermination can both be true. There is no contradiction. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think of the, of the video. And I'll be putting up a new video as soon as possible. Have a great day. God bless you all.